Eko de diasikoi. Hello everyone, welcome to ispeakyorubatu.com. This is your one-stop place for everything Yoruba language. Thank you for learning Yoruba language with I Speak Yoruba Too. Eka boyeyomi. Welcome everyone. My name is Enyala and you're listening to I Speak Yoruba Too. This is lesson 29 of level 2 everyone. Welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, you're going to be learning all about directions and positions. Directions and positions in Yoruba can be very easy if you know parts of the body in Yoruba. Yes, some parts of the body are used to tell directions and positions in Yoruba. If you don't already know body parts in Yoruba, go watch lesson 15 on I Speak Yoruba 2 YouTube channel. Ori. We will begin with Ori. Ori. Ori as a part of the body means head. So your head is Ori. But for telling direction, Ori means on, on top, or over. Let's see some examples. Ejoko si Ori aga. E joko si ori aga. E joko sori aga. Sit on the chair. Aga means chair. Yi wa lori oko. Yi wa lori oko. Yi wa lori oko. There is snow on top of the car. Yi means snow. O fori won koja. O fo ori won koja. O fori won koja. He jumped over them. Fo means to jump. O fo ori won koja. He jumped over them. The next part of the body we will look at is e yi. E yi. E yi. Any as a part of the body is back. So your back is called any in Yoruba. And as a position, it means behind. As a direction, it means backwards or back. Let's see it used in some sample sentences. Any le wa ni won be. Any ile wa ni won be. They are leaving behind our house. Be is a verb that means to live at a place, but it also means to carry. You all already know that Yoruba words always have more than one meaning, isn't it? <laughs> okay, another example. E sun se yin die. E sun si e yin die. Esunsei die means move backwards a little bit. Elosi eni. Elosi eni. Elosi eni means go to the back. Owa ni eni wa. Owa ni eni wa. Owa ni eni wa. She is behind us. Okay. The next word we're looking at is inu, inu, inu. Inu as a part of the body is stomach. Stomach is also called iku, iku, okay? Inu is also stomach. Inu as a position means in or inside. Here are some examples. FC inu aboye. FC inu aboye. FC inu aboye. Put it in that plate. Abo means plate. O wa ni nu akuti a show me. O wa ni nu akuti a show me. O wa ni nu akuti a show me. 
It is inside my wardrobe. Apoti asho means wardrobe, but literally it means box of clothes because apoti means a box, but only boxes made from wood. You cannot refer to a paper box as apoti. Apoti also means a stool. And this is actually the most common meaning it has among Yoruba people because it is used a lot in the kitchen. Not many people know that apoti is a box, especially among younger generations. If you say to a Yoruba child, give me apoti, they will bring you a stool rather than a box. Okay, but apoti means both box and a stool. And apoti asho means wardrobe. Another part of the body that is used as direction is apa. 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 Apa is your arm. Okay? Your arm is apa. But as a direction, it works kind of like an indicator. Apa is never used on its own to give a direction, it is always used with other words. Let's see some sample sentences to have a better understanding of what I'm trying to explain. E yasi apautum, e ma yasi apausi. E yasi apautum, e ma yasi apausi. E yasi apautum, e ma yasi apausi. Turn to the right, don't turn to the left. Apautum here means right and apausi means left. Can you see that apa is not used on its own? It is used with otun and osi. Apa otun, right. Apa osi, left. Now, this is what you would say to someone asking for direction to a place. But if it is something to do with position, for example, mofi die si otun, ati die si osi. Mofi die si otun, Ati die si osi. Mofi die si otun, ati die si osi. I put some on the right and some on the left. Notice that in this sentence, apa is omitted. And we just have otun and osi. Otun is right and osi is left. Please do know that these are not strict rules. You can say to someone, e ya si otun or Eyasiosi, which is turn to the right or turn to the left. Or you could say to someone, Edurosi apautun or Edurosi apausi. Stay on the right or stay on the left. Eyasiotun is a direction. Edurosi apausi is a position. It can be used interchangeably like that. It's just that in daily conversations, the use of apa is very common when making references to direction. So you would hear sentences like, She apautuni an loni tabi apausi. She apautuni an loni tabi apausi. She apautuni an loni abi apausi. Are we going to the right or to the left? Okay, let's look at another word. Egbe. 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 Egbe means side. And ni egbe. Ni egbe means beside. Ni egbe is contracted to legbe. So legbe is side. It also means beside sometimes. Let's look at some sample sentences. Egbe osi ni mufisi. Egbe osi ni mufisi. I put it on the left side. O wa legbe won. O wa ni egbe won. O wa legbe won. It is beside them. E fi si egbe ara won. E fi si egbe ara won. E fi si egbe ara won means put them beside each other. Egbe wo ni king besi. Egbe wo ni king besi. Egbe wo ni king besi. Which side should I put it? 
mo wa legbe ile ifowo pamọ mo wa legbe ile ifowo pamọ mo wa legbe ile ifowo pamọ i am beside the bank ile ifowo pamọ means bank but literally it means the house of hiding money <laughs> so a place where you keep or save money is ile ifowo pamọ in yoruba ifowo pamọ itself means the act of hiding money. If owo pamo is a contraction of the words fi owo pamo. Fi means to put, owo means money and pamo means to hide. So put money hide. Fi owo pamo. The only reason you hide money is to save it, isn't it? So you keep it from spending it. The house where you hide your money so that you don't spend it in Yoruba is ile ifowo pamọ and that's a bank. Oda yomi, let's look at the last sample sentence for today. Ama wa legbe won. A ma wa legbe won. Ama wa legbe won. We will be beside them. Ha, <laughs> hey, yomi, you all know that I will always be beside you on your Yoruba learning journey, right? Mama wa legbe yin ni bububa. And that's it from Eniola today. Thank you so much for learning Yoruba with ispeakyoruba.com. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.